Hello, I'm Martha Schwartz from Martha Schwartz Partners Landscape Architecture. I have just heard the terrible news about the severe flooding in Shenzhou and Henan. I am very concerned given that I have friends and family living in China. I love working in China and I love its people. China is a second home to us and I would like to convey my sorrow and concern about the recent flood event in Zhenzhou and Henan. In 2019, I came to lecture at many universities in China about climate change and its future. It's very important that everyday people, whether they are farmers or scientists, understand the severe impacts that China will be facing by 2050. I teach climate change courses at Harvard University and taught many Chinese students there, as well as lectured at many Chinese universities about the importance of understanding the reasons for climate change, as well as the effects that people will be facing around the world as the effects are different according to the regions where you live. Through learning about the source of climate change, it enables people to understand how we can help to protect ourselves and our cities and countries, as well as understanding what humanity will be facing soon and how we can prepare ourselves. Climate change is not an option. It's a real reality. First, as you have experienced, climate change is real, and it's not an, an opinion. Humans have heated up our environment through burning of fossil fuels and coal, which produce carbon dioxide. And this goes into the atmosphere and creates a thick blanket of carbon dioxide that disallows the Earth's incoming heat to escape back into outer space. This is what is causing global warming which is the cause of almost all the effects of climate change. Over the last 100 years, our atmosphere has been slowly heating up to the point where we are now experiencing the warming air that is creating heavy rain and more severe storm events. And this causes floods such as the Zhenzhou and Henan flood. As time goes on, our world will continue to get hotter and hotter and storms, droughts, floods, inability to farm and the lack of access to food and water will become more severe. These are effects that are starting to happen now. The Himalayas provide the water for countries such as China, Pakistan, India, Bangladesh, and other countries within Southeast Asia. These mountains provide water for irrigation and drinking for all of these countries. The Himalayas, often called the third pole, is heating up four to five times faster than the rate of heating in other places on Earth, except for the North and South Poles that are also heating up very quickly. The Himalayan glacier meltwaters are now releasing danger, dangerous floods and devastating cities and their citizens as waters gush down, downstream in India, which is causing havoc there. However, in the future, when the glaciers have melted, the lack of water will have severe effects on the access to fresh water for irrigation and drinking in these countries. In addition to glacier melt, coastal cities such as Shanghai, Guangzhou, Tianjin, and Shenzhen will suffer not only from melting glaciers but also from sea level rise by 2050. Landscape architects are the only profession that work with living systems, such as ecosystems, while designing and constructing the built environment. The landscape beneath a city is the largest piece of infrastructure that can be envisioned, re-engineered, and redesigned to prepare cities for climate change. There are many ideas that can protect ourselves for the future that are offered through the landscape, through cooling cities, dealing with stormwater management and flooding, and providing drinking water, food, and to support biodiversity. So there is hope for all of us. But we must learn about climate change and the landscape-based solutions that can help us build our cities so they are safe, and as importantly, that we learn to live within the resources that the Earth can deliver. Thank you very much for listening. And again, I feel very sorry about these floods. Thank you very much.